now my pleasure to introduce this year's commencement speaker, Kevin Burkhardt, National Football League announcer for Fox Sports and a 1997 graduate of William Patterson University. Kevin Burkhardt, who started his broadcasting career in the 1990s at William Patterson University, covering pioneer athletic events for the campus cable channel, WPC-TV, and hosting the twice-weekly Newsline program broadcast on community and to the greater Wayne neighborhood. While an undergraduate, Mr. Burkhardt interned at WJHTAM radio down the road in Pompton Lakes, and moved on to secure his first employment there as a new graduate in 1997. While he maintained his ties to our university as the public address voice of pioneer men's and women's basketball, Mr. Burkhardt's distinctive voice soon found a broader audience in the country's largest media market, first as an afternoon sports anchor on WCBS 880 in New York City, then as the beat reporter for the New York Jets football team on WFAN radio, followed by his role as New York Mets field reporter for Sportsnet New York. His engaging manner and insightful commentary have drawn national attention, leading to a position in fall 2013 as lead announcer for the National Football League on Fox Sports. The network's games average more than 20 million viewers each week. Recently, he assumed the role of studio host for Major League Baseball on Fox Sports. For these accomplishments and for other noteworthy and meritorious deeds in the public eye, and as a loyal alumnus of the university, the Board of Trustees of William Patterson University of New Jersey is proud to award to Kevin Burkhart, class of 1997, on this 14th day of May 2014, the President's Medal, and to welcome him to address us as our commencement speaker. They are all yours. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, President Waldron. Thank you to my mom and wife who are here in support somewhere. What's up, William Patterson, baby? I like Shamu back there, by the way. That's working out well, that blow up Shamu. I like it. I can't even tell you what an honor it is to be here today uh, as a graduate of William Patterson, how proud I am of you and proud to be back and represent this university. I've seen some old friends, I've already made some new friends today, and I've wondered a lot how the guy who went to class in flip-flops and a Scooby-Doo t-shirt ever came back to do a keynote address at commencement. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But I'll tell you one thing, it's, um, it's a real honor to be here. Anyone ever had that moment in life, maybe a couple of them, where you just kind of pinch yourself to make sure what's going on is real? I'm sure you have, or maybe not yet. Well, it happened to me this January in Seattle, Washington. Seattle. I was lucky enough to be selected to call a playoff game for the NFL on Fox between the Seahawks and the Saints. And um, 33 million people watched that day. You know, it was one of those moments that I never thought would happen 11 years ago when I was selling cars. And that's the truth. 11 years ago, I was a car salesman. I completely gave up what I was doing. I quit, flat out quit. I couldn't deal with it anymore. I couldn't deal with the rejection. I looked for my big break, it was not there. And I got frustrated as my friends who had graduated at the same time went on to great jobs and had their big houses and their fancy cars. So I gave up working in radio. I picked up the Sunday newspaper. I went through it one day, I put my finger down. I said, I'm gonna do that and that happened to be a car salesman. It was, without a doubt, the turning point in my life. And there's a number of reasons why. What it did was make me more determined than ever. I was actually good at selling cars. I liked it. I could have made a nice career doing it. 
And I'm sure plenty of people in this room have done just that. But what it really did is jumpstart the desire in me that I didn't want to settle. Something I dreamed of as a kid, of being a broadcaster, that I was going to give up on it already. I wasn't even 30 years old and I was going to quit just like that. Here's where those dreams started. Definition of a nerdy kid in high school who would go home and play Nintendo video games and call a game into a tape recorder. I mean, it doesn't get any more dorky than that. But listen, we did the whole production. I had the post-game show, the highlights, my best friend, my brother was there. My brother went to this university, by the way. And um, I thought it was a pretty good production. I never said I was cool, but I am driven. And whether I knew it or not, that was my start as a broadcaster. I think today is about dreaming big, real big. I'm 40 years old. I'm currently working my dream job. I'm about to move to California to work for Fox Sports full time. Thank you. And most of all, I am a proud William Patterson graduate here today. You know, I think that life a lot is about experiences, doing things, learning from them, and certainly that started right here. You know, I remember freshman year calling my first football game for WPC TV. Yeah, I think I have the last, the last graduation that William Patterson College had, so I'm a little bit older, but that's okay. So I showed up at about six o'clock for a seven o'clock kickoff with my roast beef sub in tow, ready to go. Um, what I didn't know, is that my classmates were there at noon setting up for a live televi television production. I mean, who knew a TV production took more than 15 minutes to produce? I didn't know, I was a freshman. What in the world did I know? But uh, I learned, that's for sure, an experience I'll never forget. So many valuable lessons from people like Tina Lesher and John Rhodes and Daniel Cleary, yeah. A zillion others who were at the school when I was here. You know, traveling as the men, women's and men's basketball teams went to the postseason. I'll never forget pregame chats with legendary baseball coach Jeff Albies and Bob Lauderham. Just great experiences. And also putting together our live news show Newsline, which was twice a week. Voice and speech class with Professor Buckley. Thank you, William Patterson, for these experiences that made me better, that made me learn, and made me who I am today. You know, the very cool thing about it is that two of my classmates are now my teammates today at SNY. Craig Germain and Jason Lobb both work on the Mets broadcast with me, and we worked on the same shows here in school. Another valuable experience I had that I think I learned from came about 15 years ago. I was broadcasting New Jersey Jackals baseball. It was big time, baby. About 35 bucks a game, I was hitting it big. So we were in Quebec City, Canada, at this beautiful stadium, old stadium, called Stade Municipal, probably built in about 1910, but it was pretty. And I was up doing a game like, like I've been doing, and I did these games by myself. And about the middle of the game, I had to really go to the bathroom really bad, okay? So I'm thinking, all right, four more innings, I could probably, I could probably make it, four more innings. Well, I got to the seventh inning, and I wasn't making it. Much to my chagrin, the only two bathrooms in this really, really old stadium were all the way down to the bottom to the right and all the way down to the bottom to the left. And so I told my engineers, hey, listen, after this last out, I got to sprint to the bathroom. I have no choice. Play commercials till I get back. So I sprinted down the zigzag stairs all the way through the people, shoving people out of the way, get to the bathroom finally, quick as I can, go back up the stairs. As I get in view of the game, the inning's about to start. First pitch popped up, one out. Oh no, racing back up. Second pitch, back to the pitcher, two outs. Ah! Race into the booth, tell the engineer, hey, I'm back, just put me up. I'm completely out of breath, dying. They come back to me. Okay, welcome back. Ground ball to second base, and the inning is over. We'll be back. No score after seven. I learned a valuable lesson that day. Don't drink a lot of water for a broadcast and also have the ability to laugh at yourself. You know, for everything, every experience, you take something from it.
There are things that I heard for a long time that I'm sure you've heard now and will hear when you get out of here. You can't do that. You won't do that. You should think about getting a real job. That was my favorite. I don't hear those things anymore. My story is that I was just like you. I was sitting in the same position back in 1997, graduating from this great place. I wanted to be a television sportscaster. I sat in those same chairs, wondering how I would ever get there, but knowing that no matter what, no matter who denied it, I was going to give it my all to do just that. My name is Kevin Burkhardt. My journey has taken me from William Patterson to WPC-TV, to multiple radio stations, to selling cars, to the Mets on SNY and now to Fox Sports. I had a dream. And now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Today is the day all of your dreams start to come true. Just being here, wearing this cap and gown is the first step. You've done it. You've done it. All those hours studying, all those hours that you probably should have been studying, but you weren't. Trust me, I know I've been there too. But it's all being paid off today as you graduate into the next stage of your life. This is just the first part of a wonderful journey that will define who you are. Will you settle? Or will you absolutely hold nothing back to get what you want? There you go. The beautiful, oh, the beach ball, what happened? The beautiful part about this story is that it's a blank page and you've got the pen. People will try to bring you down, they'll try to tell you that you can't do something or that you aren't good enough, I promise you, you are all good enough. You have all got what it takes in this room today. You didn't come this far to settle. Uh-uh, I know I didn't. Celebrate this. You deserve this. I see you all, class of 2014, William Patterson. I see you. There are a lot of big dreamers in this room. Now it's time to go chase them. Thank you, everyone.